Hi, welcome to Catech Tutorials. In this class, we are going to learn about carburetor body. So, let's start the model. Select the plane and select the center here. And its diameter is 50 mm. Okay, yes, it is the size of diameter now let's do the workbench and do the pad its height is 22 mm i think it is better to consider view extent okay right now select the plane at the distance of at the distance of 17.5 okay in reverse direction Yes, it's okay. Now I'm going to select this plane. Okay. Here I want to draw a small branch. Okay, let's set the, the small circles with the axis Y and give the dimension to this circles. And its radius is 2.775. Here also same two point seven five. Yes, it's radius and now constrain these two circles symmetry with axis Z. Okay, because to make sketch easier and its diameter is I mean its distance is. 50 mm. value is 50 mm. Okay. Now here the circles are fully constrained. And select one more circle and from center point and its diameter is diameter here. So 30 mm. Okay. Now let's select the line and make tangent with the circles. See, I drawn these four lines, but there is no um, geometrical tolerance and dimensional tolerance. So here we will constrain these lines by using right. tangency. Now let's make this point contact this circle. For chance, right, it is completely constrained now. Now let's move it another line and circle. Tangency here, and here it is. Sorry, here the part is here, but we need tangency and it's line to this circle. Okay, now it is also constrained. And let's see with this line and circle. I need to edit this and what is it? Okay. Here before going to exit this workbench, now I want to check it out whether this sketch is completely constrained or is there any open loops are there. If it is any open loop is present in this sketch, we can't uh, execute pad up pad command. So before going to exit this sketch we have to check check once sketch analysis so here it, it says conflict profile closer with 8 cows okay let's see this is the conflict profile and it's closer with the of 8 cows okay then we can close this and now we can exit now use this pad command and its thickness is 1 mm okay and it is in reverse direction this is the correct direction let's say here and okay now select this plane again okay and uh, deselect the circle on the center of the 
coordination. Select the circle and leave uh, the diameter of this hole. It is 10 mm. Okay. Now exit the workbench and use the path command in reverse direction and its length is is 32. Okay. Review. Okay. This is the basic part. And here we need to make one hole here. Let's select the hole and choose this periphery of the cylinder. Now I want to select this plane. Okay. It makes very easy to make a hole and its diameter is 13 mm. Its depth is 20 mm. Let's see preview. Yes, it's okay. Right. Now again I want one more hole here. Here I need to select the plane. This Zero plane and its distance is 7.5. Okay, let's see preview. Okay. Now here I'm going to select this circle. It is nothing but equal to this diameter. And I'm, so here I'm projecting directly. Now let's exit the workbench and I'm setting this plane now. Here I'm going to use a circle. Here I need to draw a circle with the diameter of 13 mm. Right, exit the workbench. So here now I want a small curve line with this two circles. So I need this plane now. Select this plane. Okay. Now see here project these planes. Okay, right. I have projected these two planes now. Now I am going to use this spline. Okay, before going to draw a spline, let's select the exact point because if we set any open loop, we are going to miss the project now. Okay, let's draw a straight line. With the help of these points, we can use as a convenient. So let's see here, I draw a spline with using 1, 2, 3, 4 points and here I given a dimension to this spline, okay, to make constraint, right. Okay, now I am exiting this sketch and I will draw another spline here in another sketch, okay. Let's exit the workbench, right. Now again I am selecting this plane. In this plane, now again I am going to draw a spline before that. I need to project these two curves. Okay, right. Now select this spline. One, two, three, four. Sorry. Let's select the between. Select this one. Okay. Now we, we got it what we want. So, so let's select this constant dimension. So guys, here see again. I gave same construction different for height and one the height and right. Okay. So here I'm constraining these two lines by using constraint construction tool. Okay. Right now, it's the workbench. Now we got all dimensions and guidelines to construct a multi section solid. I want so this plane. Okay. Okay. That's what this plane. Okay, here it is. Done. And make constraint with this one. Constraints. And select this point from here to the center line. Here. And its distance is 6 mm. Let's select this. Let's this constraint. Let's try it. Okay. And 
this. Eight damage. Let's give damage. This point too. Axis and its diameter is eight mm. So here yeah, I'm selecting four value because it's radius, right? Now let's make these points as combinators. Sketch we need. Now I'm selecting profile. I'm selecting this point, and here it is. Okay, right. Now I want to return unwanted sketch. Yes, and here it is also. So now it is closer to. Looks like yes, here it is closer. On. Okay. Now this is the workbench, and. Uh, here shaft we are using many models now here we are going to use two ok and axis in here is axis preview ok so guys here now we got it blue means remember the material color we saw in our tool practice ok now select the whole option here we need One hole with diameter 8 mm and it is up to 20. Yes, I think more than 20. Let's take 30 mm preview. Okay, now let's select the hole. So, we are selecting this and uh, selecting this plane so you will know what will happen if we select like this and its diameter is 1.5. Okay, let's preview and its diameter is I mean depth is only 1 mm preview right so by selecting this curve initially this actually will take the center point of this curve okay that's what we selected and here let's see preview okay same again select the hole before selecting the hole I am selecting this curve so if I select the plane the center of this curve will transfer so again 1.95 diameter with the depth 1 mm preview okay because previously we have done with this uh, circle i mean hole so the same what we have entered in previous same dimensions maintain that tool okay anyway now it's happened now i'm going now i'm going to select this plane and now reverse okay done now here I'm selecting this circle with the diameter uh, 1.8 right 1.8 mm with height it is let's take 8 mm let's take 9 yes it's okay now exit the workbench select the pocket Reverse direction. Sorry, reverse direction. Preview. Okay. This is the final model. Okay, let's give a small look on this part. Here we have done holes on flange and throw out the hole here. Right. Okay. This is the carburetor body. Part name it is. Okay. Thank you guys for watching my channel. Please subscribe the channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching Catech Tutorials. Please subscribe to our channel, like the video, share the video.